Well, hey guys, it's May, which means it's Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Get excited because in this video, we are gonna be dropping 10 fast facts about sunburn. These are things that people either don't know or commonly are unclear about, get wrong. And my hope is that by the end of this video, you will be better informed so as to protect your skin from the damaging effects of UV rays that come from the sun and put you at risk for skin cancer. Sunburns prematurely age your skin and they put you at risk for a variety of skin cancers, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and some types of the deadly skin cancer melanoma. Now, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I am a board certified dermatologist. If you like skincare, skincare product reviews, if you want anti-aging tips, then definitely subscribe. Hit the bell notification that informs you when my videos go live. If you like shorter form content, consider following me over on TikTok or Instagram. I'm pretty consistent posting on those platforms as well. Before diving into the 10 facts. What exactly is a sunburn? A sunburn is an inflammatory response to UV damaged skin cells in the outermost layer of the skin. What happens is the body reacts with a lot of inflammation coming in, blood vessels dilate, that brings in redness, warmth. In some cases, depending on how much sun exposure you got, the sunburn can be so intense that the skin blisters. Comment below, have you ever had a blistering sunburn? Miserable to have to cope with, very, very painful and uncomfortable. Fact number one. Anyone, regardless of your ethnicity or skin type, can develop a sunburn. However, sunburn is going to be more common in some people than others. People who have pale skin are going to burn a lot more readily with unprotected sun exposure than people with very deep skin tones. At the heart of whether or not you're prone to sunburn is something called melanin. Melanin is what gives the skin pigment and it helps to defend the skin against the insult of ultraviolet radiation. Melanin works by darkening the skin after UV exposure. So people with deeper skin tones they don't burn as easily, they're more likely to tan, whereas those with a paler skin type are more susceptible to burning and almost never tan. But both a sunburn and a suntan, regardless of your skin tone, these are both outcomes that represent sun damage. They are your body's injury response to UV rays. While people with deeper skin tones rarely, if ever, burn, they may be, at some point in their life, put on medications that increase their chances of actually developing a burn. Fact number two, you can burn despite wearing sunscreen. The purpose of sunscreen is to protect you from a burn, but it's not 100%. People sometimes think, oh, I've got sunscreen on, I'm not gonna burn. And when they do burn, they often think that the sunscreen was ineffective or didn't work. In order to ensure that you don't burn, don't just rely on sunscreen alone. It is one piece of a full sun protection package to minimize the risk of a sunburn. It's very easy to assume that if you have sunscreen on that you're safe and then end up staying out in the sun too long and you get a burn. If you've watched any of my videos on why you need to reapply sunscreen, you know that it rubs off and the protection wanes with time, it comes off with sweat, and if you happen to get in the water, even if you're wearing a water-resistant sunscreen, when you get out, you need to reapply it because some of it's gonna have rubbed off and you're gonna lose that protection. The best approach to protecting your skin from a sunburn is not only to wear a broad spectrum sunscreen to all sun exposed areas, make sure you reapply it every two hours while you are out in the sun and also seek out shade in the form of umbrellas or a shade structure and limit midday sun exposure. That's typically when UV rays are most intense. Take a look at the UV index to gauge your risk of a sunburn when going out unprotected. The higher the UV index, the faster your skin will burn when you are not protected. But a lot of people mistake this to mean that when this UV index is low, then they're not at any risk of sun damage. And that is false. Just because the UV index is zero or very low doesn't mean there is no UV. It just means that the risk of a sunburn is not as great if you are going out without sunscreen. Even when the UV index is low, risk from UV exposure is still there. So you don't have to necessarily burn to have damage from UV rays. The UV index kind of gives you a gauge as to how quickly your, sun, your skin will burn if you go out without sunscreen on. And that is going to vary a lot. UV intensity varies a lot depending on your geographic location, the time of the 
the year, and the time of the day. And again, during the midday hours, that's when UV exposure is most intense. That's when your risk of a sunburn is greatest. So really focus on limiting the amount of time that you are out in the sun during the time when the UV index is quite high. Um, because that is really when the rays are greatest. Fact number four, did you know that you can get a sunburn on a cloudy day? Even when the sun is not obviously out, UV rays are still touching your skin and you definitely can burn. Up to 80% of UV rays are going to penetrate through clouds to reach your skin to lead to sunburn and sun damage. Even if you're not someone who burns easily, you're still getting a lot of UV exposure on a cloudy day. So that is why you need to protect your skin every single day wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen and a sun protective hat, other measures. Fact number five, light pink is still bad. <laughs> Some people are under the impression that unless they get a bright red burn or they are skin blisters, then they're okay. They think a little bit of pink is safe and it's not. That slight light pink redness is a clue of a lot of damage under the surface of the skin. Light pink redness is still bad. Likewise, any type of tan on the skin is a form of skin injury. So if you've got tan lines, it's a representation that you've got too much UV exposure. There's likely a lot of damage brewing under the surface of the skin. And that damage occurs in the form of not only DNA damage to the skin cells, but it lowers the immune system in the skin, making it harder for your skin to fight off infections and to clear out damaged cells. Fact number six is that repeat sunburns over your lifetime cumulatively increase your risk of skin cancer. The more times your skin burns, the greater your risk of skin cancer becomes. And this is because UV rays, they damage the DNA in your skin cells, and they also interfere with something called tumor suppressors. Tumor suppressors are part of your biology that puts the brakes on tumor formation, cancer formation. UV rays mess that up. UV rays also mess up and suppress the immune system. So your immune system gets quieted down so much that it doesn't recognize the damage and is inefficient at clearing it out, further putting you at risk for for skin cancer. And the more burns you have throughout your lifetime, the greater your risk of skin cancer. I asked you guys to comment below and if you have ever had a sunburn that blistered. But here's a fact, having one blistering sunburn in childhood or adolescence doubles your risk of melanoma. Sunburns at any age are not good and the more that you get throughout your lifetime, the greater the risk of skin cancer. But sunburns that you got in early childhood are most contributory to your lifetime risk of skin cancer. So if you are the parent or a caregiver of a young child, do everything possible to protect their skin from a sunburn. You will save them in the long run, not only from accelerated skin aging that they won't appreciate until they're much older, but also it will help in minimizing their risk of skin cancer. So do whatever it takes to protect them from getting a sunburn. That includes sunscreen, as well as sun protective clothing, shade structures, being mindful of the time that they are out in the sun, especially during the midday hours. As I said, the more sunburns that you have throughout your life, the greater the risk of skin cancer. But did you know that having five or more sunburns doubles your risk of melanoma? So throughout your life, if you've had five or more sunburns, it doesn't matter if they blister, it doesn't matter if they're just light, faint pink, as I said earlier, it doubles your risk of melanoma, which is a deadly type of skin cancer. Fact number nine, there is no such thing as a base tan. Um, hopefully people are getting away from this myth, but for a while, people were under the impression that they could go in a tanning bed before going on vacation and that that would protect them from a sunburn. It doesn't. All it does is massively increase your risk for skin cancer. bed uses UVA bulbs to tan the skin as well as destroy DNA in your skin cells, destroy the immune system, and it uses very, very strong doses, much greater than even from the sun, to tan the skin. 
and it offers no sun protection. A UVA mediated tan from a tanning bed does not protect you from a sunburn. So stop that thinking if you believe that getting a tan will protect you from the sun. When you get a tan, it means that your skin's defenses are down. Uh, they have been hit, they have been sucker punched, especially if that tan was derived from a tanning bed. And fact number 10, you can easily burn when you are in the water. In fact, this is actually when a lot of people get a sunburn is when they're enjoying the water. They're in the pool or they're in the ocean because UV rays penetrate through the water. Up to 40% of UV rays from the sun will hit your skin if you are even half a meter underwater. You would have to dive down two and a half meters inshore or four and a half meters offshore in order to be avoiding UV rays. People are more likely to burn when they're in the water because their sunscreen rubs off and the water cools them down so they don't realize that their skin is burning and they stay in the water unprotected much longer. One study I think from New Zealand actually showed that 69% of sunburns in kids actually happen while they were in the water. It takes a couple of hours for a sunburn to manifest after exposure, roughly about four hours. So I think that represents a big disconnect in people's minds between water, being in the water and getting a burn. They will just assume that it came from being outside rather than necessarily the time they were in the water. So when you swim, whether it be in the ocean, the pool, the lake or whatever, Wear water resistant sunscreen and make sure that you get out and reapply it. And don't stay in the water too long without getting out and reapplying it. If you're in the water for greater than 40 to 80 minutes, then definitely get out and reapply. This is why I'm a big fan of rash guards. They can also offer some sun protection while you are in the water as well. Um, so I highly encourage those. All right, you guys, so those are 10 fast facts about sunburn. It's gonna be summer soon. I hope this video was informative to you all. So when it comes to protecting your skin from a sunburn, a suntan, or basically just the harmful effects of UV rays, definitely wear a broad spectrum sunscreen. Make sure you reapply it every two hours while you are outside. And if you're gonna be engaging in water sports or it's really hot and humid, you're gonna be sweaty, wear a water resistant sunscreen. It just ensures that it stays on the skin a little bit better. If you do enjoy water sports, make sure that you reapply the sunscreen when you get out. And don't just rely on sunscreen alone. This is a common pitfall. Make sure that you rein in sun protective clothing. You seek out shade. You don't stay out in the sun too long. You're mindful, especially of your sun exposure during midday when UV rays are strongest. Take a look at the UV index to kind of gauge that. But don't be misled and overconfident if the UV index is super low. It doesn't mean there is no UV. It just means that you won't burn as quickly. But remember, you don't have to burn in order for those UV rays to be damaging your skin. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. In the description box and on the end slate, I'm going to put my recent video on five things that people commonly get wrong about sunscreen. So definitely check that one out if you missed it. I cover some more myths and things that people are just getting wrong frequently and putting yourselves at greater risk for not only sunburn, but skin cancer and accelerated skin aging. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.